Here at USA Health, we're proud to sponsor 12 ACGME accredited residency programs and nine ACGME accredited fellowship programs. We have a, quite a variety of programs and they team together in a lot of ways. Uh, some of our residents will rotate on different services and within different programs and there's a lot of cohesiveness in that interchange of education and opportunity. Because of the smaller size of our institution, the residents and fellows have a great opportunity to learn one-on-one -on -one from the faculty and from their attendings. And also, the fellowships that we do have are relatively small, so when a resident is on a rotation that includes fellows, they really become integrated as part of that team and still have hands-on participation. With USA Health, you get more than adequate training. You get to take care of patients, you have a lot of autonomy, but with appropriate guidance and you get the level of training that you need in terms of procedures, um, patient care, bedside, doing your physical exam skills, everything like that. You learn so many things hands-on all the time. And if you have like a question, they're always there to kind of help guide you. But I feel like this program has helped me be more independent. I feel more comfortable practicing by myself um, when we go out into the real world. Well, one of the things I think that we do very well at is, is getting residents ready for their next step, whether it's private practice or fellowship. And, and the fellowships that they're going into are, are very good, top-notch fellowship. It is a hybrid system with the advantage of having both academic and private practice exposure so the resident gets the best of both. The acuity of care at USA is much higher uh, than a lot of uh, places you end up going. Partly because we are the big academic hospital here in the area, so we occasionally get transfers from other private hospitals into ours because of the specialists that we have. We are a level one stroke center, so we have a lot of strokes that come in, flown in from a lot of faraway places. We also have a very unique sickle cell population here. In my med school training, I only saw one sickle cell patient ever, and it was a very unique thing. Uh, we get them almost daily here. You get a lot of experience with a lot of sick patients here. The first selling point that I tell our candidates is they can come here and be a resident here and work anywhere in the world. We cover the entire uh, Gulf Coast region, so for a small program we have a very large catchment area, 54 counties, 4 million people, and we take care of some of the sickest people in the United States. Our program will get you ready to go out in the community and practice day one. You'll feel comfortable seeing uh, as many sick people as there are to see. We have very dedicated faculty, uh, no one here is just a number, uh, and so there's always someone in your corner. Residents and fellows really get to know each other, and not only within their programs, but also across the programs. You work closely together with uh, other residents and other programs quite often. So it really builds a feeling of camaraderie and uh, a sense of belonging. South Alabama has the unique ability to maintain a family environment within an academic program that's integrated across multiple hospitals. It really feels like a family. I'm foreign, I grew up in the Netherlands, um, so my family's not here. And it really was just feeling at home right away. And um, that's what made me stay all these years as well. I have been so impressed with my residency colleagues sacrificing their own time in order to cover a shift or cover a call for a resident. And so the support that we show each other has been really a blessing. Your uh, attendings will know you the first week that you're there. They'll get to learn your name, and then by the time that you're a year in, they're going to know your life history, they're going to know about your family, your friends, your kids, and we look at you as colleagues more so than as a trainee. Other places that I've been and other places that I've interviewed, I've always been amazed that they were so distant from each other. Residents come and knock on my door all the time. There's an open door policy. Every attending's door up and down the hallway, 10, 15 doors are open. The House Staff Council is responsible to make sure that residents and fellows are represented across the um, health system and so administration comes forward and asks for resident or fellow representatives on a lot of the committees because they want to hear our voices, they want to hear our opinions and ways that we can continue to make our health system better in terms of serving our patients the best that we can. It just makes for a really nice learning environment. The attendings can learn about your individual abilities and then help you 
progress your own skills. They know our strengths, they know our weaknesses, um, and they can really help build us up. And I think that uh, helps increase our confidence and will make me a better surgeon when I get out into the real world. <laughs> We really treat each other like family. We look out for each other, we look out for our fellows, and we are absolutely committed to their medical education and their well-being. You cannot take care of others if you're not well. So a major part of the, the balance between work and life is making certain that the residents' needs are met. The one word that our residents used to describe the residency was supportive and I think they really feel like they have had a hand in um, making sure that wellness is a priority in our residency. Dr. Nimit does yoga every Friday morning and it is very relaxing uh, and he makes it kind of fun and there's, there's some other initiatives as far as group get-togethers. We have a resident retreat every year. Um, one year we all went out on, on boats out to an island and had a really great time. Fifth Fridays we have a couple hours, about two, two hours off in the morning um, to go and do appointments or just get work done, whatever you need to do. If we need something, if we feel stressed, there's a phone number we can call. And actually they implemented a free cap if you are here after like very late hours and you're tired, you feel like you cannot drive, you can have an accident, you can call that free cap, it will pick you up here at the hospital and drive you home. You need to be out for anything, covering for a few hours, the attendings cover for you just fine. We give them wellness half days because we know that you um, need to go see a dentist and they don't work, they're not open on, on Saturday, so we make sure that you get a half weekday off at least every month or two months so that you can go take care of those kind of things that require you a business day. I've never really had a problem where I've I felt like burnt out or that I don't have enough time to spend on other things. I have plenty of hobbies that I have outside of work, I get to see my friends a lot and I feel like that's a balance that you have to find. I'm fortunate enough that it's not hard to find at this program. I think the thing that residents connect to the most here is just the feeling and the sense of belonging. That you have a place here, you're going to be welcome here, not only at the institution and the hospital and your programs, but also in the community. I find Mobile uh, as a transplant myself, to be one of the most livable, enjoyable quality of lives that I've had anywhere else. Less traffic, less noise, less hassle, great cost of living. Mobile boasts a very low cost of living, in particular our housing costs, around 80% of the national average, which means that someone can move here and get an immediate discount for um, a home when they're purchasing here. If somebody wants to live on the water, they can do so. If they want to live in the woods, um, it's not that far away uh, to get back to the city. There's really a great portfolio of options and at a very low cost. Mobile has so much to offer. It has that small town feel with big city amenities and of course being on the coast. You know, a lot of our residents have a boat or go to the beach at the weekend and enjoy all of the water sports and things that that has to offer. You can always head to the beautiful white sand beaches over in Pensacola about 45 minutes away or you can head two hours in the other direction to New Orleans and enjoy the French Quarter and still get there in the morning on a Saturday and be home in your bed that night. You're in easy transit distance between all of those wonderful places. If there's a reason not to love Mobile, I don't know what it is. The downtown is thriving, uh, plenty of awesome restaurants. We're close to the water, we're close to some of the United States best beaches. There's just a different charm about this place. Everyone is very polite, everyone is friendly. This is a marvelous place to live and my wife and I will live here long after our retirement. We are small, we're personal, and the quality of education you're going to get, it will be second to none. It's an awesome work environment. You work hard, you challenge each other, but we also have a really good time. You are going to get one-on-one -on -one teaching. You are gonna get mentorship. I was very surprised as soon as I started intern year, the amount of respect that was immediately given to me. As a new trainee, everyone addressed me immediately as Dr. McPherson. Okay, Dr. McPherson, what do you wanna do? And you immediately realize, okay, I graduated medical school, I guess I do have to make the decisions now. If the medical student is interested in working hard, 
learning a lot and getting more than adequate training, then USA Health would be the place for them. Our number one measure of success is our graduates. We just recently surveyed them. 100% said they had an excellent experience in our residency. 100% said they would come back to residency and do it again at South. 100% said they were comfortable in their practice and comfortable in the operating room. And I think that speaks for itself.